back at it with another YouTube video. And uh, in today's video, uh, we're going to be doing WandaVision Episode 9, the season finale um, review here. So yeah, another great episode. Uh, and also, uh, important to note, it was the season finale today. So yeah, um, I'm excited to talk about um, the MCU's first uh, MCU show, I guess, or Disney Plus MCU show, or whatever. So yeah, um, and also next week I'll be, I'm going to make sure this is clear as well, I will be doing a full season review, so if I don't, I'm not going to be really talking about the rest of the season in this video, I'm going to be more really talking about the season finale, so yeah, uh, if I check right now, if I check the what the title is called, oh, okay, it's just called the series finale, uh, yeah, so... There's something very important to note as well. Um, first of all, this is a spoiler review. I don't know if I have to say this for every video where I do a review or whatever. There will always be spoilers unless I say it. There will not be. Or unless it's in the title it says not spoiler or something like that. Then there will be no spoilers. But yeah, all my reviews have spoilers. So yeah. Uh, yeah, so they titled the episode the series finale, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, it looks like, yeah, it looks like the treatment they're giving this show is like a movie, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, um, that's, I'll save that more for next week, but, yeah. Let, let's, let's, let's just start talking about here, um, exactly what we saw this episode. So, we saw, we saw, um, we saw Wanda and Agatha, they were back, back when, um, yeah, they were there with, and they were trying to like battle each other or whatever. So yeah, that happened. Uh, basically, le leaving off from starting off from where we left off the last episode. That happened. Then uh, Scarlet Witch or Wanda, pretty much, they fight each other, whatever, and we see Agatha can pretty much absorb her powers. Uh, yeah, that was very interesting. Basically, the episode was Agatha and Wanda both fighting each other. And then we saw Vision, but the white Vision. Uh, the one that was created by Hayward or whatever. He came and attacked Wanda. Then we saw Vision from Westview attack other Vision. Vision fighting there. Really good. Yeah, so on and so forth. And then, um... Yeah, that continues fighting. They they fight each other pretty much, and Agatha's basically beating her for most of the time with because Scarlet Witch, which is powers, can be absorbed by Agatha. So yeah, that kept happening. The Visions were fighting. The Vision stopped fighting, and uh, the Hayward Vision or whatever, he was like, "Please elaborate or whatever um, exactly what's going on." Then Vision actually gives. I, he doesn't, yeah, I'm pretty sure he gives his memories to um, the other Vision. So now the other Vision knows more now. But yeah, that pretty much happens. Um, yeah, and then Hayward comes and he's trying to kill Wanda and whatever. Uh, yeah, and they fight pretty much. Wanda realizes Scarlet Witch, she's really Scarlet Witch or whatever. Uh, that happens. Whatnot. Uh, they fight each other, basically. And then in the end, uh, she beats Agatha, but she traps her in the nosy neighbor kind of thing. So, yeah, that happens. Uh, then she ends up beating her in some sick fashion. Uh, a lot of visual effects and stuff. That happens. Um... Well, yeah, that happens, then, then Vision is like, Vision and, uh, the kids, the twins, uh, they die, or, they, like, stop existing, basically, um, and then, yeah, that happens, so, yeah, I, I didn't explain it in too much detail and stuff, I just explained the main points you guys really need to know, and also, um, there is a post credit scene, so definitely if you've watch this episode and you didn't see it go check it out 
really worth noting. Um, yeah, the post credit scene was basically we saw another scroll and um, basically she was acting as an agent. I think we've seen her once before in the in the show, whatever. And basically, I'm pretty sure it's setting up Captain Marvel two with Monica having to go to I presume Talos or Nick Fury or something. So yeah, that happens. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, that that happens, and uh, yeah. So yeah, let's talk about this real quick. Let's let's talk about my thoughts. Now I thought it was a pretty good episode. I was expecting Vision versus Wanda, or me, and I didn't. I was a bit surprised when it was Vision versus Vision, but yeah, I thought that was interesting, especially. Um, I was curious to see what was gonna happen out of that. Like, was Wanda gonna have to kill Vision because? It was just going crazy, or what was gonna happen? So yeah, I thought that was a little bit of a different um, ending in that in that sense. Uh, I thought I didn't I didn't know she could absorb Wanda's powers. That's something I didn't know, uh, which I thought was cool. Oh yeah, and uh, the guy we thought was Quicksilver slash Peter or whatever. Uh, he's apparently some guy named Rolf, uh, some random guy. So I don't know what that means. Um, so yeah, I don't know what that really means, so yeah. And when Agatha was getting beat by Wanda, she's just like, Wanda was like, or no, sorry, Agatha was like, you don't know what you unleashed, but pretty much. And I think what she's meaning about that, shoot, sorry, 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 sorry about that, but um, yeah, I think what she means by that is maybe Spider-Verse. Or maybe she just, maybe unleashed a multiverse, pretty much. So, yeah, I think that's how we're getting some plot points for maybe for Spider-Man 3. Because I believe Spider-Man 3 was confirmed that they would include the multiverse and whatnot. Um, and Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. So, yeah. Um, yeah, this, this kind of helps it. Uh, yeah, the episode was kind of sad, too, as well, because... Vision ended up dying as well as the kids, but I think the kids could come back. I definitely think the kids could come back. Um, see, Vision, I, I don't know. That, that's a good question because I feel like Vision has to come back if the kids come back because they're technically he's technically their father or whatever. So, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make me very curious to see what happens. Like, maybe we could see the twins back in, maybe they come back in. Multiverse of Madness or something. But I don't think Vision would come back because Vision's dead. And you gotta remember, keep in mind, Paul Bettany's been playing Vision for 10 years technically. Or 10 plus years. He's been playing it's him since Iron Man 1. But a lot of people don't realize that because he's just a voice in those movies. But on screen, he's been playing Vision for about, I don't know, Age of Ultron came out back 2015 or whatever. So it's approaching six years he's playing Vision. Plus he's voiced Jarvis and stuff. So yeah, you gotta take that into account, that stuff. So yeah, in case you were wondering about that. Like, I expect, I'm not su too surprised they killed off Vision. Because people gotta end roles when they gotta end roles, honestly. But um, yeah, uh, I'm curious to see what happens next. Uh, this episode was really well done. Post credit scene was well as uh, done well as well. Um, I think that the finale was just spectacular. Uh, we saw some new powers, powered people like Proton used her powers, whatever. I don't even know if she still has her powers still, but yeah, it's kind of confusing because we have to see more of like it, more movies and stuff. Like, I think we'll have our definite answer in Captain Marvel too. Uh, especially with Monica Rambo, if she still has her powers or whatnot, and <clears throat> yeah, so yeah, I don't expect Vision to come back. It's kind of sad. I it's sad seeing him die like that, but I technically already saw him die already in Infinity War, and I thought he was dead. Uh, so yeah, but it was less than that because it wasn't too sad because I thought Vision might definitely come back uh, later on. Uh, so I was like, eh, why not? Uh, 
probably might come back later. Uh, the kids kind of was kind of sad though too as well. Hopefully they come back. Like I really hope we get a new Avenger or Young Avengers movie uh, later on because I think that would be really cool. Uh, yeah, I just hope they come back. Honestly, uh, yeah. Um, other than that, I would say yeah, I would say this is probably the best episode out of the maybe second best. Uh, just because there was Easter eggs, kind of, and also I felt like this episode was a lot like just more of a fighting episode. It wasn't, it was just purely fighting, um, like an end battle or whatever. Uh, yeah, I definitely think most of the characters are going to come back. I think, I think Agatha might come back again. Same with Hayward. Like, Hayward could come back for the do Sentinels again. Who knows? Because, yeah. Um, I, I kind of wish... The bar was set really high. I can't even lie. Like, a lot of people, including, like, Paul Bettany and stuff. Like, including, yeah, including Paul Bettany and stuff. He was really hyping up the episode as well. Uh, so, I mean, there was a cameo and there wasn't. Like, there, the Skrull's a cameo, but... Yeah, uh, I don't know what to say about that, but it was it was a good show. I can't even lie, it was a good show. Really enjoyed it. Uh, can't wait to see the next show, which is gonna be Falcon and Winter Soldier. And uh, don't forget, I'll be I'll be um, reviewing that show as well. So yeah, and it comes out March nineteenth on Disney Plus. So yeah, that kind of sounds like an ad, but yeah, uh, I'll be reviewing that. I'll be reviewing it. Uh, next week, I'll review the entire season of WandaVision. And, uh, yeah. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.